Welcome, Wang Tung Liang. Thank you. You are a Tai Chi master? Well, that's what other people call me, and I'm simply a student of life, student of Tai Chi. I've heard that one doesn't practice Tai Chi, one plays it. Tai well, Chi. It's, it's the way we use language. See, in Chinese language, it's more metaphoric and more poetic. And when you say practice, it has a tone in English, discipline and hard work. And in Chinese, we would like to think of it as a play. It's, the, it's like the dance of life. You play with life. You enjoy your practice. You grew up in China? Yes, yes. I was very fortunate. Um, even though I w was born during the very turbulent time, during the war with Japan and later civil war and great deal of, of uh, problems internally in China. But because during the war we had to sort of run away from the action, we were able to live in the villages amongst the farmers and people. And I always consider myself very lucky. Lucky to have been born during the time as we Chinese would say, may you born, be born in a very interesting time. <laughs> it could be a curse or blessing at the same time. Yeah. And because of the good fortune of to be in the villages, and uh, I was able to really learn from my early age uh, how the Chinese practice Tai Chi and according to the way of nature. What does Tai Chi mean? Well, Tai Chi um, is a general concept about how we learn to play with nature. Um, many people think Tai Chi as a form of exercise, and we have seen Chinese people early in the mornings, and now all over the world in the parks you see people practice Tai Chi Chuan, which is, means a choreography or dance based on the Tai Chi concept. We learn to move in accordance with nature. But Tai Chi is a philosophy of living and to learn to be in harmony with life.